For more on what's happening with the wildfires burning in Western Canada, I'm joined now by Lori Daniels. She's a professor and researcher at the University of BC's Department of Forest and Conservation Sciences. Thanks for being here, Lori. It's my pleasure. What can you tell us about how wildfire behavior and what it's burned has changed over the years? Well, in Canada, the total area that's burning per year has doubled over about the last 50 or 60 years. So if we go back to the 1970s and compare to today, on average in a year, twice as much area is burning than burned in the past. And that is largely centered in Western Canada and in our Northern Boreal forests. Why the record season right, right across the West? Well, we can link this back to that heat dome at the end of June. So remember that heat dome that started building in the in the southwestern United States and then it expanded north and gave us record breaking temperatures in British Columbia. Here we were breaking records by five and six degrees, um, not just a couple of degrees. Recall the, the temperatures approaching 50 degrees Celsius in Lytton, British Columbia, just before that catastrophic fire that burned through the community. Well, that heat dome expanded, continue expanding um, north and then to the east, and it's traveled its way um, across British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and into Northwest Ontario, and is really fueling the fires that we see today. The heat and the drought that dried out the forest primed them for fire. What role do we see climate change playing in these fires? Climate change is playing a really important role in a number of ways. So first, um, recall that the area burning in Canada has doubled over the last 50 to 60 years. And that's a symptom of climate change. We are seeing that fire seasons are starting earlier. So springs are starting earlier. The droughts are beginning to build earlier in the spring and summer. So that by the time we get to July and August, this time of year, the peak in the fire season, we actually have warmer and drier conditions than we would have in the past. And so that's part of the way that climate change is influencing us. It's giving us record temperatures. It's giving us deeper droughts and longer fire seasons. And that in combination means that we end up with more fire affecting our landscapes. And those fires are more intense and they're harder to control. Looking down the road, is there any way you can predict or forecast what will happen in the future when it comes to wildfires and their destruction? So really our ability to predict day to day is limited by our fire weather predictions and our understanding from one day to the next, where there's precipitation or rain that might cool down those fires or where there's um, cooler temperatures. So we're really watching the weather closely, making sure or hoping for, um, for rain at the moment and hoping that there'll be no dry lightning that would start new fires. If we look on the broader scale though, if we look out to next year and the year after, it's hit or miss, we're going to have some years that are warmer and drier and some that are cooler and wetter. But the trajectory that we are currently on, the one that we've been measuring over the last 50 to 60 years and the looking forward into the future is for warmer and drier summers, earlier starts to the fire season in the spring. And that means deeper droughts in the summertime. The kinds of conditions that we're experiencing this summer, the types of conditions that we have experienced in the extreme summers, 2017 and 2018 here in BC, when over a million hectares of forest burned. Well, those are becoming more common. Here in BC, we're in our third year out of five with record fires. And future climate projections tell us that these are the fire weather conditions that we will be living with and that fire will be more common in our landscape. And so it's more important now than ever before that we begin to adapt and learn to coexist with fire. Lori, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome. Lori Daniels is a professor at UBC's Department of Forest and Conservation Sciences.